Stanford last season, the big story was they lost nine of their starters, came back with two. Could they rebuild? They would look pretty good, I think, third in the Pac-12 overall. What, what do you see from Stanford this year? Are they still the same kind of scheme of old? They're primarily the same. I think they've changed it up a little bit. Uh, they still have really good players. <coughs> they lost uh, a bunch of the NFL that were fantastic players. Uh, I think they're just really good on in all three phases. And uh, when they're in control of a football game, they're tough to beat. After the game, some of the players were saying that there are even more playmakers that still need to get involved in this offense. But having so many receivers and backs making plays, how much more participation could we see out of this Oregon team? Well, the, I, I agree with what they said. We have some guys waiting in the wings that are really talented. Uh, Kirk Merritt got a little bit of time uh, Saturday, but he's a guy that down the road is going to be a fantastic player here. Uh, Jalen Brown's a guy that's going to be a fantastic player here. Uh, we got some guys that are hurt and not playing, like Farrell Brown, ready to come back. Uh, and you got to see four back Saturday that all are really good with the ball in their hands. So um, we got a lot of depth at the skill. Finishing drives, especially in the end zone, one of the messages following Saturday. Is there a sense of urgency to kind of clean up those things and penalties going into Stanford? Yeah, efficiency is really important against Stanford. Uh, they limited Colorado to, I think, 57 or 58 total offensive plays. Uh, when you only get that many plays, you know, their, their offense is going to try to keep our offense off the field by controlling the ball. So when we have it, we have to be efficient with and take advantage of chances. You guys have had some great battles with Stanford over the years, kind of back and forth. Uh, where does their D-line this year stack up with Cal's D-line, the team he played last week? Tyler said that it seemed like Stanford's D-line was quite a bit better. Well, I don't want to compare one team to another. Uh, I think every team in this league has good players, and this team's this league is, is really even top to bottom. Uh, Stanford's good at what they do. Uh, you know, they've replaced a lot of D linemen in the last couple of years, but they've got some guys that are playing well. Their linebackers are active. Uh, obviously, they have one linebacker that's leading tackler. Um, I think their secondary is good, too. So they're just really solid across the board in all phases. How much of a spark has Darren Carrington given you guys since he's came back? Well, I think Darren's had 100 yards in each game since he's been back, if, if I remember right. Uh, you know, it, it's one more playmaker. Darren's a fantastic competitor and a really smart football player, uh, understands how to get open, and, and he's been a big weapon for us. You talk about getting open. He seems like he's open quite a bit. What, what exactly about him uh, lends himself to, to just continue to leak free? Uh, he, he, he understands how to run routes and where the space is. Uh, I think he's, he's long. Uh, I think he's gotten faster since he's been here. Uh, he's got tremendous hands, so he has a lot of things that you're looking for in a wideout. Which defense is Stanford most similar to of the teams you played this year, and what do you anticipate from them? Uh, who are they most similar to? Uh, schematically, they're kind of their own animal. Uh, they, they're jump in and out of odd and even fronts. They've been a little more even this year, but they're capable of being in a lot of different fronts and a lot of different coverages. Uh, they're very multiple, so uh, they do a good job of changing things up and being hard to scheme. Um, so when we run something, we just got to execute well. Against Cal, you guys were able to use four backs, really, and they all had, had great games. Do you think you're still going to be able to use that kind of depth against Stanford or need to use that kind of depth against Stanford? Well, it depends on how many plays we run. Uh, you know, hopefully our defense can get off the field. We can get a lot of snaps on offense. The more snaps we get on offense, the more we're going to need uh, to spell Royce and get some other guys on the field. But all those guys are capable if they're out if they're out there, and I hope we get a lot of snaps. I mean, you know they're going to limit how often you guys can have the ball. How much harder does that make your job to kind of optimize everything this offense does Saturday? Hey, it, you know, it's on all of us. Uh, two years ago, I thought we moved the ball really well down there, but they kept the ball from us, and we turned it over four or five times, I forget. And uh, you know we, we moved the ball pretty well between the 20s, and then we didn't finish in the red zone, and we turned it over. Um, last year, we scored on our first three possessions, and it became our kind of ball game. So efficiency is really important, especially early in the ball game. The Pac-12 North race potentially decided this weekend. Uh, how much of that is an added factor? I mean, you guys are only human. That has to be on your mind a little bit, right? You know, with the with the trials that this team's gone through, uh, I don't think anybody's looking at that big picture at, at this whole situation. Uh, we got a really good team to play Saturday, and, and we're preparing as well as we can for that one. I know the kids are excited to play this game, and uh, it, it's kind of neat that we're going in as, as the underdog and the spoiler. 
Uh, and, and that's a role our guys aren't used to playing, but uh, I think they'll rise to the occasion and play well under those circumstances.